Hello everyone and welcome to Snowball AI. In this video, I will show you how to use free AI tools to create products that you can sell. We're going to dive into how you can create some seriously cool art for free and turn them into both digital and physical products. By the end of this video, you will know everything from generating AI images for free to getting your products delivered to your customers without lifting a finger. Let's jump right in. First up, let's choose an idea. I will create something including animals. A finished product could be clothes with our print on or maybe selling books with poems and images of endangered animal species. For the book, I will create a list of 8 animals with the help of ChatGPT. And yes, ChatGPT is available for free and you don't even have to create an account anymore. I'm going to switch to the free 3.5 model for this video and we don't need more than that for this project. So let's go and generate a list of animals. Hi ChatGPT, please create a list of endangered animal species. There we go, a list with the names of the animals and the short description. Let's make this even better and turn it into the text for our book. We can tell it to write a story for each animal or experiment with something else maybe. I wrote generate poems for each animal. And within a few seconds we have a long list of children friendly poems for each animal and we can use them for our book. For the next part, we'll use a free AI image generator called TensorArt. There are a bunch of AI tools out there, but what I like about this one is that there are a lot of models and styles to choose from and you don't need to install or download anything to make it work. This is exactly what we need and you can generate more than 100 images per day for free. For this project, we will not need more than 20 images. So let's start creating the images. The first step is to create an account. I will sign up using my Google account to get started immediately. Another quick option is by signing up using your Discord account. Once you're in, this is what it looks like. These are all different AI models you can use to generate images with. It's important to make up your mind on what you're looking for before starting a project. Otherwise, you'll scroll through these AI models for hours. There are a lot of different AI models with different styles. It all depends on what you like and your use case. I will search for animals and go with a cartoonish model to generate our images. This one here is perfect for the job. You can click on run and let the fun begin. If you get this message, just confirm it because it writes negative prompts which acts as a guide for the AI model to give you better images. Now to create an image, all we need to do is to write the description or name of our animal up here and click on generate. So let's go back to our list and pick the first animal. It says here an elephant. So let's add elephant here. Don't remove the first word because this is called the trigger word and it's what turns our image into the right style. Let's click on generate down here and see what we get. It takes a few seconds and the image is ready. There we go. We got an image of a cute elephant in the style that we chose. Great. Now when using tensor art, you have the option to upscale your images. Click on this button right here if you want to increase the quality of your image. This is extra important if you're going to print the images on clothes or sell it as art. Now, let's generate the rest of the animals as well. I will fast forward this step for the sake of the video. Remember that all of the images won't be perfect immediately. So make sure you generate multiple images if you don't like the first result. Here I got an image of a gorilla in a different style. So I went down here and dragged this bar to increase the weight of the style of our model. And this is what we got instead, which is much better. You can also create images in different aspect ratios. Just scroll down here and you can choose between horizontal, portrait like this one, or set a custom ratio. Remember, there are tons of different models and styles to play around with. You can also mix different LoRa's, which is like mixing different styles to get your own unique styles. Here is another image I created using another model. I want to show you that you're able to create incredible art with this tool and you will definitely find something that will work for your use case. Now that we have all of our images, we can continue with the book, which can be sold as both a digital and physical product through Amazon. For the next step, we need to remove the background of our images and prepare them for the book. For this, I use a website called Photor.com. Photor has a bunch of different AI tools and can be used as an image generator as well. You can use it to replace objects in your images or the magic eraser to remove parts of the image entirely. I am going to use their background remover, which is a free tool and it's one of my favorites because their AI is exceptionally good at getting the job done. Just upload your image and it will remove the background within a few seconds. You can save the image for free, but if you want it upscaled and in better quality, make sure you subscribe to their pro plan, which costs less than $3 a month. 
I have been using Fotor for a long time and I highly recommend that you try out their tools. Alright, now that we have the text and images for our book, let's move on to the design part. I will design the pages of my book using Canva. Canva is free to use, so once you've created an account, click up here on create a design and then click on custom size down here. I will go with 2000 pixels for the width and 1000 for the height. I double the width to be able to design both the left and the right page of the book at the same time. Our images are squares, so the height and width is the same size. Now we simply drag and drop our images from TensorArt to Canva. Simply adjust the position and scale of your image by dragging the sides. I will have the animal on the left page and the poem on the right page. You can also have the animal and text on the opposite sides for every second page for variation. Now let's copy the poems from ChatGPT and paste them inside of Canva by selecting the text tool here. You can change the font, color and size of your text. Something like this looks good. Now we can move on and do the same thing with the rest of our images until we have enough for our book. Remember that you can upload and list your books for free in Amazon and people are making thousands of dollars with Amazon KDP every month. Now let's move on and create some merchandise and clothes with our images. So for that we have another website called Printify. Printify makes it possible for you to sell all kinds of items with your print on. Now let's move on and create some merchandise and clothes with our images. This means that you can put your art on hoodies, coffee cups and even canvas that you can hang in your living room. Just like everything else on this video it's totally free and you can sign up and create your own merchandise within minutes. Once you're in select catalog from the menu on the left and choose the item that you want to design. I will design a hoodie and let me show you how easy it is. Browse until you find a hoodie you like, click on it and then click on design. And now simply upload the image. Let's go with our koala again. I resize and place it where I like it to be and once you're done just confirm. And now you can even see mock up images of models wearing the hoodie. This is great and you can sell this wherever you want. The best part is that you don't even have to buy it beforehand. Once a customer buys your hoodie, Printify will create the hoodie with your print on, send it to the customer and give you the profit. Selling merchandise online has never been easier. Now don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.